Hey guys, in this video I'll be replacing the valve body of my XC90. I decided to replace it just because the transmission had really poor shifts once it got hot. I had a spare transmission from another XC90 which just got replaced because it got some coolant in there. Uh, it still shifted fine, so I'm hoping it will solve some of my problems. You can see that removing the valve body is really easy. You only need to remove the cover bolts, which are T40, some plugs and wiring from the solenoids, and 8 bolts, which all take 10mm socket. It gets a little bit more tricky when the transmission is still attached to the car. I am doing it on the floor here. There is enough room under the car with the lift I have. To drain the oil, you have to remove the uh, small bolt which takes T40 and then a big plug which will take 17mm Allen key. I'm removing the engine mount bolts because I'm gonna have to lift the engine slightly. Removing the cover bolts on the car is, is a bit more tricky, but it's, it's not impossible, it's not a really big job. I was hoping that I can get away with just lifting the engine slightly um, and I was hoping I can remove the cover like that but now there wasn't enough room so I will have to lower the subframe. It won't take much, maybe maybe 40-50 mil and that, that should be enough to get it all off. Here you can see the gap I have between the body and the subframe. This is enough to get the cover and valve body off. Probably the hardest thing was getting all the plugs and wires off. Bolts are not too bad. Once you remove all the bolts, there's a fair bit of oil escaping, so be prepared to catch that. The old one is really covered in, in black stuff, which is 
probably just because the oil has never been replaced in this transmission. You can see that, that new one looks a lot better. This is the liquid gasket I'm using. You have to make sure the contact surfaces are clean before uh, both the cover and, and the gearbox. You probably can use a uh, different one. I just use it because it's uh, really easy to apply. Putting it back together is really just the opposite of taking it apart. Once I have the valve body and all the cables in place, I use Vida just to make sure I don't get any solenoid faults in case there is a problem with the valve body or connectors. I have another video of how to fill and check the oil level, so I will link that in, in the description. Once everything is back together, I will reset the TCM adaption values so it can relearn the shifts. Sometimes it might take a few days before it starts shifting normally, so I try to take it easy for that initial period. If it's still not shifting well, you can try entering the learning mode and taking the steps described in Vida. I have driven it for over a week now and it has fixed all my shifting problems.